God refers to humans as trees. So there's good trees and there's bad trees. And we both produce fruit. So either good fruit or bad fruit, right? And we who are in the Lord, we want to produce good fruit. Now, what is the fruit of the Holy Spirit, you might ask? Very good question. Galatians 5.22 says that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So you might be saying, Jackie, how do I produce this fruit? It's so hard to be patient, so hard to be forbearant. It's so hard to be filled with self-control. Yes, I totally get that. But God taught me a hack. This is how you do it. If a tree is in good soil, it's naturally going to produce this fruit. Trees don't like struggle to produce fruit. They just produce it, right? So when you're in good soil, you're going to produce good fruit. And the Bible says in John 15, 5, that Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. And he says, I am the vine. You are the branches. Whoever abides in me, not visit, abide means live. When we abide in his presence, okay, we spend time with Jesus, okay? In his word, spending time with him, talking to him, venting to him, uh, laughing with him, and reading his word, okay, worshiping him, hello, the whole shebang. We are going to be abiding in good soil, okay? And he says, whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me, you can do nothing. Come on. Come on. That's good, right? So how do we produce this fruit? Kindness, gentleness, self-control, patience. By spending time abiding in the vine, abiding in Jesus, and he will help us to be those things, okay? It's kind of like, it's kind of like you're an iPhone, okay? And you're giving out all of this energy, right? And the, 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 the source of power is the wall, okay? And you have a plug, right? And if you plug it in, you're going to be always filled with power to give out, to use on apps and stuff. Well, let's just say the apps are people. Let's say that you're the iPhone. And let's say that you connect to the so source of love, which is God. And you want to give out love to all your peeps. But... You need to be connected to the source, right? So you connect to the source. You spend time with Jesus, whatever, for a couple days in the week. Good, great. And then you lose your rhythm, okay? You're going to be able to go for a while until you burn out and your battery dies. You're going to be able to give love, give love, because you can't give what you're not receiving. And then eventually you're going to burn out and you need to plug back into source. So if you're just plugged into the source the whole time, you can always give. Your cup is overflowing. And you can always give that love. And you can bear the fruit of the Spirit and you can represent Jesus rightly and you can make everything attractive about God because people are like, wow, this person's real. This person's not a hypocrite. The worst thing you could do as a Christian is be a hypocrite and lead people astray and make people turn away from the church and turn away from God first and foremost, okay? So we need to bear that good fruit. How do we do it? Because we all want to be in the flesh and we all want to lose our patience. Spending time with Jesus. He is our getaway. And you can think of time with God as your getaway, your, your escape from the world and the craziness and work and, and school and jobs and family and all this trouble. It's your getaway vacation. Slip away, away from reality. Just be with the one who can change everything, the one that loves you and the one that knows you and your situation more than anybody else.